What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. It is a beautiful day here in Ohio right now. I just left the gym, going back home to get things ready to go to work, and then I will start my week. Like I said, beautiful day. Done here at the house. Just gotta hit the roads and get back to the truck and start my week. So we'll see you at the truck. Right here I am picking up my eggs at uh, Weaver's. Fun, uh, man, 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 man. Where am I? For sales. That's right, for sales. Slipped my mind for a second. Picking up my eggs here. The uh, I, I'm going to be chasing the storm all the way across to Ohio and all the way and into Pennsylvania. And I got to go all the way across PA on 80. So this is going to be uh, kind of treacherous because PA sucks at cleaning the roads. Ohio is pretty good at it. The PA is going to be a pain, so I'm not looking forward to it. You know, it's normally a 10 hour, 10 and a half hour drive anyway. But this weather is going to hinder my progress by quite a bit. So, just got to do what we can. That's really the name of the game out here, guys. If there's any new drivers watching, just got to do the best you can when you're out here in weather like, in, uh, in, in weather like this. Uh, none of us are miracle. Mir God, my tongue is... I had a stroke. None of us are miracle workers out here, so don't act like one. If the weather gets too treacherous for you, pull it over. All you can do, the load will get there when it gets there. It's very cliche in the trucking industry to say it, but they would rather have the load late than in a ditch somewhere, even if they don't sound like it when you tell them that you're going to be late. But anyway, I'm here, I'm gonna pick up my trailer right here. get on the road so we'll see you guys later sometimes when you're back under a trailer never forget to make sure your fifth wheel is open on some trucks mine included the fifth wheel when you pull out from a trailer it will close uh, the jaws for some reason like the retention spring or whatever is in there that holds it open it doesn't hold it open when you pull out from under a trailer so then you you know when you back under the new trailer uh, the kingpin from that trailer smacks into a closed jaw and it just throws you for a loop. See what I mean? Right down there. Alright. Now it's open. Now we're good to go. Here's a little tip to any of you uh, new drivers or aspiring truck drivers. Uh, this is something that a lot of us driving a truck for years and years just don't really think about anymore. Uh, that it could be helpful to some newbies out there uh, if you're ever in a tight situation. Um, because uh, you know, if you ever if, if you ever think you're lost in a in a city type of environment, you become very stressed. 
because it's so you know if, if you're if you may have made a wrong turn if you're not if you're not sure if you're on is that is that jesus Corey, i can't talk today what the if you are ever on a road or a street that you aren't sure if it's a designated truck route or not you know you may have gotten turned around you're just not sure start looking around you as you're driving for clues and what i mean by that is start looking at side streets if you if, if, if you're looking down the side street and you see signs that say no trucks allowed then odds are the road that you're on right now is a you know may not be specifically a truck route but you're not in the wrong for being on that road uh, and I say that because you know otherwise there would really not be much of a reason to put a sign on intersecting streets uh, to tell you no trucks allowed because you know if there weren't trucks on the road you're on now there wouldn't be a need for signs on those uh, on, on those side streets and a second way to tell if you're driving down you know one of these uh, streets and you're just not sure start looking at the trees as you uh, go under some trees that might be overhanging the the street if they're cut out to you know basically look like they've been cut out to make room for a big truck like yours then you're probably okay and what i mean is you know you'll see these these uh tree branches sticking clear out over the road but you'll see that they are purposely cut into a 90 degree angle um you know that you can tell it, it's just obvious when you look at them that they're not they didn't grow that way so you know if they're cut that way then the odds again are in your favor that that road is designated for a semi-truck and so you're probably okay so try to breathe a you know sigh of relief and relax a little bit you know you know that doesn't mean you're not lost but at least you're not on an illegal route so just keep that in mind and always always be on the lookout for overpasses if you're if you think you're lost because if you think you're lost you may come into contact with a low overpass and you always want to make sure that you don't have that problem just keep an eye out guys just a little friendly tip for you all right so this is why it's a good idea to go ahead and um and do your pre-trip whenever you pick up a new trailer i picked up this trailer back there and noticed that i my left all three of my left tail lights were not working as far as running lights go they worked for the flashers well two out of the three worked uh, for the signal and flashers but they didn't work running wise and usually you can kind of narrow that down you can figure out okay well maybe maybe it's up at the pigtail and you maybe got to spread the prongs out inside the pigtail a little bit so they can make contact uh but all the other lights on the left side were working so you know usually if all the lights on one side are off then that could be the, the culprit but uh, anyways i'm here right now so they can I, I i'm assuming it's a broken wire so it should be an easy fix but i'm here back at the shop to have them look at it before i get on the road because in this weather you really want to make sure all of your lights are are in pristine working condition so uh we're here to get them fixed
think this is where I'm going to end the vlog for the day. And it's been a really long day. Stressful. You know, you, you'll have those days where you're just... It just seems like you're just overwhelmed with stress. From weather to traffic. It's been, uh, it's been a pretty long day. So, I'm going to go ahead and climb into that thing and go to bed gosh I really hate that I can't use my FaceTime camera anymore I mean I can but the sound quality is I don't know I don't know what happened I don't know why the sound quality is so much crap uh, when I use the FaceTime camera but it's fine when I use this camera I don't I don't get it oh man there's a nice looking Kenworth right here Oh, that's a gorgeous truck. I'll show it to you. Windshield's filthy. But that is a beautiful Kenworth. But anyways, with that said, guys, I am going to go ahead and jump off of here. And please don't forget while you're out here, that is something I will push almost every time I make a vlog. Just about how important family is and why we're out here doing what we do for our for our family that's something that my dad has drilled into me for the past couple years every time we hang up uh, from a phone call he always tells me you know give my family a huge hug the premise behind that is basically you just uh you, they it's the last thing you want to take for granted is your family um a couple years ago he unexpectedly lost his wife my stepmom uh, from a heart attack. Uh, they were holding hands driving down the road and uh, she passed away right there. Um, but you just never want to take that stuff for granted and it's very easy when you get when, when you're out here and you're you know you're caught up in the stress you know from the traffic and from the receivers and from uh, the weather, you know, it's really easy to forget about that stuff, but um, You always want to make sure you come back to uh, To the realization, you know, come back to your family come back to why you're out here, you know But right now I'm just rambling. I'm just jaw jacking. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back there and get some rest so Y'all have a good one out there. Stay safe. I really hope you get to see your family soon when you do as my dad says give them all a big hug all right, we'll see you guys later. Take care.